we get to work with maps, which is so fun. A map is a powerful visual connection that bridges all that investment in data and analysis to the people and processes that need it. Making clear and beautiful maps in ArcGIS, I'm excited to say, is easier than ever. I think one of the most exciting new features that enables this sort of adventure is the introduction of blend modes. Blend modes pull in some of the most powerful capabilities of top tier graphic design tools and make them available directly to map makers right in ArcGIS Pro and the Map Viewer Beta in both ArcGIS Online and Enterprise. Where before we might overlay a semi-transparent hill shade layer and lose a little bit of the richness of our map's colors, now we can use the multiply blend mode to easily and beautifully weave topography directly into our map and still maintain the richness of the imagery and thematic colors. I say easy, but it's also engaging. Here's a charming and focused map that my 13-year-old daughter Willow made with the Destination Atop blend mode that uses Living Atlas biodiversity hotspots like a cookie cutter to reveal only the vibrant base map below. Base maps are a critical component of our work, and now any one base map can become potentially hundreds of base maps by using the luminosity blend mode to repaint any base map by that of its background color. And when it comes to data, all sorts of amazing combinations are now possible. This map of broadband accessibility is given a human focus by using a blend mode to visually clip it to only where people actually live. Speaking of where we live, check out this gorgeous Earth at Night imagery from NASA. What better way could we see a portrait of seven and a half billion people? But if we zoom in on population centers, we're effectively looking into a light bulb. The overlay blend mode lets us use these lights to illuminate rather than obscure a rich world imagery base map below. So I've shown you some examples of blending in ArcGIS Pro and online, but there are lots more new tools to help you take your maps to the next level. For example, the new visual effects available in the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, crisp smoke forecast vectors now become wispy and smoothed, more naturally echoing the phenomenon that they represent. Reams and reams of overlapping vessel paths instead coalesce into a glowing and living breadcrumb of travel and commerce. I definitely encourage you to take advantage of the many new and powerful visual tools and techniques available in ArcGIS. Have fun. Make beautiful things. Take back that graphic control and blend up some maps that communicate and inspire.